Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Mandy and today I am sharing a Timu haul with you. Now, today's video is sponsored by Timu. Everything that is in this bag, they sent me for free to try and to share with you. So thank you, Timu. Now, this bag is just a mix of <laughs> all kinds of different things. Um, when you are a Timu influencer, they pretty much give you a list of things that you can choose from to try and to share on your social media. Um, I've done this a couple times. I really enjoy Timu's clothing. Um, I've gotten lots of t-shirts, shorts, um, some pants, lots of clothing that I have enjoyed a lot. Now, some of the other things are just... Oh, I think you guys are crooked. Hopefully that's better. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom. I'm kind of like just found a quiet spot. So uh, some of the other things are here and there. Sometimes the sizes are different than what you think it's going to be. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. The first thing that I'm actually really excited about is it's like a french fry cutter. Um, I've seen these other people have, I've seen other people use them and we love to make homemade French fries and I thought this would be so fun. I actually already opened this, but so it's metal, it's not plastic. Um, it opens up like this. It's got this little cutting piece on the front and then you push it down and this plastic piece behind this pushes your potato or vegetable um, through the metal piece. And it did come with a different size. This is a much like smaller one and a different plastic piece to push the potato through. So I thought this worked, I thought it worked pretty well for, you know, how cheap it is. And I was so excited that it was actually metal and not plastic because you know, sometimes they just don't work. But um, one, one negative, I guess, and it's not really negative because I buy the big jumbo potatoes from Sam's Club and I was trying to fit it in this hole and it wouldn't fit. But I'm thinking if you have like a normal sized potato, it's gonna fit in there fine. So I did have to cut the potato and then push them through. Also, when I pushed the potato through, it didn't get pushed all the way out. You kind of had to like pull the pieces out. But other than that, I didn't have to chop the potato. And I think this is definitely worth it. And I do plan on using it for making French fries. So, so awesome. I'm really, really excited about that. And I love that it ha you can cut the, the fries smaller. All right, next, <laughs> this one's kind of funny. <laughs> this is one of those things that, um, you know, you look at it on the app and I will put a picture here, but you look at it on the app and you think it's a normal size, you know, what you would see or maybe already have in your home and then you get it. <laughs> so this is like a basting brush or um, like putting an egg wash on something. We use these a lot on the barbecue. <laughs> this is not gonna work for the barbecue because my hand will burn before I can get anything like basted, but it will work for like baking or anything in the house. Um, it's just <laughs> so small and cute, <laughs> but uh, it's okay, it's all right. It, I'm, I'm not gonna cry about it. So the next thing that I got, I'm super excited about. When I saw garden stuff, on the list, I was so happy because uh, I live in Arizona, if you don't know, and it's like spring here. So I am ready to plant all the things that I can plant. And I don't remember how many pieces were in this, 50. So these are little 50 little um, stakes that you stick in your seeds or, or uh, in your garden and you can label, I guess they're labels. These are for um, labeling what you planted where. I like them for seed starting because I don't plant a lot of seeds. 
Um, so I need a label for, you know, all of them. So I'm really happy about these. They work really well. They're not paper, so they don't dissolve or anything. I write on it in a permanent marker and the ones I used last year, I found them in the garden <laughs> this year when I was uh, cleaning it up. So they last, They're, they are good. The next thing is also for the garden. So I don't actually know what these are called. I will put the picture on the screen here, but these are those like globes that you fill with water and then you put in your planter. And as the soil dries out, the water will go into the soil and water your plant. These again, I thought were gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's a pack of five and I have two planters on my back porch that I think these will be great in. Um, I actually like that they're not like too big and bulky, but um, again, I live in Arizona and it is hot and everything always needs water. So just to have a little extra help, I think that these are gonna be really fun to have. All right, these I have seen everywhere and been wanting to get, and I'm actually pretty excited about using them. I think they're gonna fit perfectly. They are, air fryer liners. They did get a little smushed in, uh, you know, in the mail, but I think they're gonna be perfect if you buy the brown ones. They're cheaper than the white ones and I have no problem <laughs> using those brown ones. So these are, you know, we use our air fryer a lot and I don't like cleaning it every time I use it, but you know, when I go to cook something else, I don't want it to taste like what I had cooked in it previously. So I'm super excited about these. I think this is only a 50 pack. It doesn't say, but um, I think I'm gonna wish I had ordered a bigger pack of those. So, all right, let me just dump everything out really quick. Okay, we're gonna stick with garden because uh, there's only two more things here. I ordered these little plant clips. These are nice mainly for like my tomatoes, uh, really anything, but um, you can clip them around your plant and then connect like clip them onto whatever you're um, growing next to them, not growing, the, the support that you put next to them. You can attach them without like hurting the vine or anything. I also got these little Velcro. These are also good for that. You just unravel the Velcro and you cut a little piece off and you just wrap it around your tomato branch and um, connect it to the support that you're using. So I'm super excited to have those things. Last year I was using like, um, sorry, you can hear the door opening. The dog keeps poking your head in. <laughs> you can use them. Um, what was I? Now I've lost what I was, I forgot what I was thinking. Last year I was keeping like bread twist ties and using those but um i'm excited to have these things to use this year and the last garden item now these feel like they're felt maybe which is kind of nice i don't know how well they're gonna hold up like getting wet i use a soaker hose to water and um i don't know i'm hoping these hold up but these are like these little fabric rings and like I said it feels like a like a felt material and I got these for strawberries so you pull the plant up out of the middle and then you wrap this around the bottom and then the strawberries aren't sitting in the dirt or in my case um, I have a lot of straw and stuff to help mulch it to keep it cool in the summer and the strawberries will sit on top of here and they won't get like wet and soft so that is all i got these for was strawberry plants i think it's a pack of six yeah six of these so i've seen some plastic ones but um i thought these would be nice kind of blend in better because they're black 
So that was the last garden item. This is actually a pretty small haul. And the last thing I got was this, what do they call this? <clears throat> it's an oven liner. It goes in the bottom of your oven just to help you keep your oven clean. My oven actually doesn't get that dirty anymore because we started cooking outside so much on barbecue and stuff. So it's very thin. Um, hopefully <laughs> it doesn't melt in the oven, but I'm not sure about the size. I probably should have measured, but it, you know, it'll help a little bit. I'm happy to have it. So we'll see how it works. So that's it. That's all. I'm excited to use the garden stuff. I'm really excited. And I'm pretty excited about these air fryer liners too. <laughs> like I said, we use the air fryer a lot. So that will be nice. All right. That's going to be it for today. I am going to leave my link and my, um, the link and the code down below in the description box. If you would like to check out Timu, there is going to be a coupon that you can use. I appreciate you all so much for watching and I'll see you in another video really soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.